Mandarin Chinese. A difficult and alien language to someone who's not familiar with it. If it's not your native tongue, it takes time getting over the fact that you're dealing with a completely different take on a language, different way of writing, character-based versus alphabetical. You're dealing with a language that spans back thousands of years, that has been butchered, damaged, changed, reimagined, and without understanding the language of Chinese, it's impossible to understand what's happening in China. I have a question. Why is it that these very pro-CCP, anti-Western YouTubers can't speak Chinese? And although I don't speak a lot of Chinese, I've had some real fun times with Chinese people, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and we both understand the, you know, it's, it's amazing how, how far body language and, and gestures can take you without even having to speak each other's language. I, I'm not joking, this is true. They can't speak a lick of Chinese. The people we're looking at here specifically are people like the Barretts. They can't speak Chinese at all, which has been proven in their videos over and over again. The Jayo Nation, I know him personally. We've hung out, in fact, when his channel was very small, he sought me out as well as a lot of other YouTubers to try and grow his channel. That's his main goal is to grow his channel. He's a nice guy. He met me in Shenzhen. I met him in Taiwan. I've met him in Vietnam. We've hung out a lot. We've spoken a lot, a lot. I know a lot about him. He knows a lot about me. And I know that he can't speak Chinese for shit. That's the truth. I know he's pretty good at memorizing one-liners here and there, but he actually can't speak Chinese well. And I'm not here to say that's a bad thing either. Whether or not someone pursues the learning of a language is entirely up to them. It's a personal choice. However, if you are living in a country like China where English is very few and far between, unless you live in some big first tier city. You kind of need to know Chinese to get around, so it's kind of bizarre that these guys haven't learned just even the basics, other than like Ni Hao and, you know, I, I need a beer or whatever it is. It kind of boggles the mind a little bit. But <laughs> here's the fun part. There are other YouTubers, by the way. I'm, I'm not here to expose all the YouTubers that are doing this, because there's, a, there's a, a, quite a few of them these days that are doing the exact same thing. I'm using these two uh, bigger ones as an example simply because I've, I personally know the Jayo Nation and I know exactly what the Barretts are doing and uh, I'll get into that soon. Here's the weird thing though. YouTubers and people who can speak Chinese very well, especially fluently, like Lao Lei. Hello, what's the name? The German guy with the beard. His... <laughs> His uh, Chinese is incredible, and he's done some incredible journeys through China. This guy is very well experienced. He's made videos critical of me. I accept it. I can accept criticism. But one thing you'll find about him through his videos, if you can understand Chinese anyway, because he only speaks in Chinese. The guy's like a genius when it comes to this. Is that he doesn't support the CCP. He constantly criticizes the policies of the CCP. He doesn't say they're all bad, but he does criticize the policies. He doesn't live in China right now, of course, but he does go out and criticize the CCP. Lola Farley, a fantastic comedian from California who used to be a superstar on Chinese TV and used to be part of the New Year's Gala. Again, another genius when it comes to the Chinese language. Xi Zhuxi, you're not going to be okay. What do you think? Oh, you've been a long time. Oh, let's see. Do you need to find some good girls? No, I'm你愣着干嘛呢？你有什么事儿赶紧说说。哦，对，呃，外边传来了一个新的消息，那些西方发达国家要开发自己的五G技术。哦，不，呃，美国政府不再认为香港还是个高度自治的状态，是吧？哦，
He is highly critical of the CCP. Why is it that these people who have benefited from or made such a huge investment of their lives to learn a language like that so fluently, why is it that they're not running around praising the CCP? But the guys who can't speak a lick of Chinese, why is it that they are running around praising the CCP? Well, it's very simple. I will explain it to you in the form of an analogy. What if you took a Belgian, a Belgian man, and you dropped him in the middle of a Spanish festival? Colors, lights, music, dancing. And you throw him right in the middle. The guy cannot speak Spanish. He's got no idea where this festival comes from or what it's about. And you throw him in the midst of that. He can't speak the language. He can't read the signs. There he is in this festival. And you ask him about this Spanish festival. What can he say? Wow, the music is so good. I love the colors and the movements of the dancers. I love the clothing, the style, the smells, the sights. They're amazing. I ask him, do you know where this Spanish festival originates? What's it all about? He can look around and he can say, I'm guessing it has something to do with pumpkins because I see a lot of pumpkins around me. That's about as far as you can go. Unless the guy could speak Spanish and actually ask people, read the signs, read the newspapers, he wouldn't really know because it could very well be the festival of the dead. And the reason people are dancing is to celebrate death. But he doesn't know that, right? It's one of those things. How is it that you can claim to know anything about a culture and a country if you cannot speak the language? Especially when you don't have transparent news coming out of said country that's translated into your language. These guys just get all their news from the, you know, Chinese media that's translated into English and swallow it up and say that's how it is. And they get all the news media coming out of the West and swallow it up and say that's how it is. The more ignorant you are about what's going on around you, the better it is. I remember this. I was in their position. Walking around in China, you, you live in a bubble. You make your own mind up about why people are doing things. You see a man there smiling and you think, look, that man is smiling. That means that all Chinese people are happy and that things are going well. Because I see plenty of people smiling. But you don't know how deep it goes. You don't know what that man has really suffered or the kind of lifestyle that he has to endure. Just because someone is smiling doesn't mean that things are all peachy. So I went through that phase of life living in China where I was like, what the hell is the West talking about? China's incredible. Everyone's free. It's such a free lifestyle. And I maintained that point of view for many years living in China. Because I was having the time of my life, I was 25 when I got to China. So, you know, the girls, the booze, the partying, the freedom of walking around as you want, having late night barbecue, just having a, the time of my life as if I was uh, living as a 20 year old or a 20 something year old, which is what I was doing. It was only later when I studied and learned Chinese that I started to see what was really going on around me. Now, bear in mind, I did study Chinese in the Shenzhen University. I graduated from in intermediate Chinese, top of my class with, well, I couldn't say top of my class, but up there, I got the award of like best student or whatever. They give you this like red book. Here's a picture of me in the newspaper actually receiving that award. Um, I, I did, of course, beginner's Chinese and then intermediate Chinese. It ended up being about a year and a half that I was studying in the university to get this full time. Um, so I did my due diligence. I did my studies. I did graduate from the language course. I cut it off at intermediate. I didn't go into advanced because work got in the way. I was busy with too many things. I was taking up too much of my time and I kind of reached a point where I was comfortable enough to know what was going on because I could finally read all the signs and, you know, figure out what was going on, have all the normal daily conversations that I would have to have with anyone. And it was a fantastic experience. I really enjoyed my time in the university. In fact, I think they've still got my picture on all the flyers and stuff from when I was there. It was a lot of fun. And I met some amazing people, especially my Chinese teachers, who I have a lot of gratitude towards for, you know, their patience and understanding. And of course, the fact that they were able to teach me and a bunch of other foreigners such a difficult language. But it was from that point onwards that I started to see exactly what was going on. So the language thing really does play a huge role in this whole whether or not you can actually understand what China is all about thing. 
This video is an excerpt from a larger video which focuses on the phenomenon of Westerners parroting Chinese Communist Party propaganda and denigrating the West. Link in the description, pinned comment and the information card. Can't wait to see you in the next video and until then, you know the drill. Stay awesome.